to Cactical Maine. All right, today we have us a wonderfully broken in pair of Red Wing 875s. Look at these beautiful boots. Oh yeah, here we go. Trying to get them all in frame, but we are not actually here to look at the boots and what they look like when they're broken in. Uh, you can tell I, I do a little bit of moto shifting on that one. I don't know if the light's gonna let you pick it up or not. But what we're here for today, and this is why you clicked on the video, is how to properly size Red Wing Heritage mock toe boots, whether it's the 875 or any of the other different leather slash colorways available. So the first thing to understand about these boots, let's get one out of the way, is you are dealing with a thicker leather not so quite much so not so much like a nyx handmade boots or anything like that but it is a high quality leather that does take some breaking in and on the bottom you might not see that in there i will grab a flashlight and see if that can help us out any and you probably won't see any yep you have a hard leather insole so the first thing you're going to feel when you put a pair of these on is wow these are huge. What's the cause of that? First, the leather footbed in there. The leather footbed is thinner than your standard um, boot that comes with the spongy insole. So it's gonna feel like it's a lot bigger. The second thing that's gonna make it feel like a lot bigger, make it feel a lot bigger, is there will be zero flex. So these are well broken in and there's still very little flex in them. But trust me, they're well broken in. So what we need to figure out is what type of sock are you going to wear with these boots? Are you going to wear a dress sock? Or are you going to wear a thick boot sock? Like a darn tough sock? Well, if you were going to wear a thick boot sock, order your normal size. If you're going to wear a dress sock, go down a half size. If you're wearing a normal sock and a non-boot sock, you are going to feel how stiff the leather is on the bottom, on the sides, on the tops. Every step you take is gonna feel like the leather is just too, or not the leather, but the boot is just too big for your foot. So let's go ahead and pretend that my hand is my foot because I don't think you guys wanna look at my foot today. Here's my hand. You get, or my, my foot, you get your foot in the boot. With the leathers being so stiff, it's gonna feel like your foot's just moving around in it everywhere. When you put your foot down in there, lace up the boots, put your foot on the ground, and can you push your foot forward? If you can push your foot forward, I'm not talking a little quarter of an inch, I'm talking a half inch or more, you can slide your foot forward, the boots are too big. If you cannot, and you have plenty of toe room, the boots are perfect. Now I have a, a, a weird thing that apparently a whole lot of people have is my right foot is bigger than my left foot. I don't know if we'll be able to depict it, but I don't know if I can get the lighting just right in here. It's hard to tell on the viewfinder. Right here, my, my right foot has pushed out and is broken in the leather. So this was a little bit tight on me. The left boot has been perfect. It breaks in. So, to reiterate, what kind of socks? Are you gonna put insoles in? If you're putting insoles and you're wearing boot socks, get your normal size. Go down a half size if you're gonna wear normal socks. Check to see, lace, lace your boot up on your foot, stomp your foot on the ground, and try to push your foot forward. If it doesn't go forward, you're in the right size, as long as it's not too tight on the sides on you. Another thing, when you're laced up, put your foot down on the ground and try to move like this. If you can literally move like this inside your boot, it's too big. Try a different size. And that is all we're going to talk about today. Hopefully I was able to help some people uh, understand the sizing. Just know that these are going to feel way different than any other normal boot, especially boots that have lining on the inside and the lining fills up all the tiny little gaps. Trust me, if there's tiny little gaps anywhere and it's just feeling weird when it breaks in, you won't feel those gaps anymore.
just got to remember it is the leather it takes time to form to your foot if you get the fit right you will love the boots forever